Hello folks, Pastor Rocky Branch. Hope you're doing great today. Well, happy Memorial Day to everyone. You know, we thank God for our country, our nation, how that we've been blessed to live in this great United States of America. And America is great because Americans are great. And God has blessed America so very much. Our military men and women that have paid the ultimate price by giving their lives that we might be here is absolutely incredible to think about what we would be without those that were willing, now listen to me, that were willing to pay the price. If we today would be in the position that we were 40, 50 years ago, the challenges that we would face would be horrific. We thank God for our continual military growth and those presently serving and certainly those that have served those that gave their lives on Normandy, those that gave their lives in World War I in Germany, those that gave their lives around the world. Think about all the sacrifice that people that no one ever heard of, no one knows, absolutely incredible how God has kept us safe by the sacrifice of men and women. I think about times in history. I think about way back in history when we had to face England and America fought for her independence. Now that we put men on the battlefield that would fight until they died and they did die, many of them. And through the ages, every hostile nation that came against the great United States of America has fallen by the wayside. Why? Well, because our blood runs red and we are not willing to quit. We are Americans, and Americans fight, and Americans stand, and Americans are proud. Thank God for people that still believe in the colors of the red, white, and blue. Thank God for everyone that strapped on a uniform, tied up a pair of boots, put a gun in their hand, and look at their enemy dead in the face, and said, we will not quit. We will continue and we will fight till we drop because others behind us will continue and you will fall by the wayside. America has survived not only because of the grace of God, but because of the men and women that would not give up. There is in the heart of a soldier, in the heart of a patriot, an intestinal fortitude, a pride for their nation that they might go forth and know that with the efforts that they have and the desires that they have, that they're keeping their family safe and they're keeping their friends safe. But even more importantly, sometimes they're keeping people they don't even know safe. They're willing to die. So many of our young men today, our young women, they have limbs that are gone because of bombs that have been buried by the roadside in modern day warfare. We have so many challenges of mental anguish of those that have seen terrible disasters on the foreign soil. We as Americans need to rally behind our military and support them continually. One of my friends, personal friend of mine, is Colonel Danny McKnight that was in the Black Hawk Down movie story of Somalia. Uh, Colonel Danny McKnight was there in that action situation and what a tragic time that was. And how that when we see life and we see the challenges and how that men pick up another way, uh, another spirit, uh, another power that they push on when they're wounded, when they keep on going, when they're scared to death. Well, today is Memorial Day. Today is a day to honor America. Today is a day to honor the fallen and remember their families. And as they fought for us and gave their life for us, we should remember their families and support the families. We should not forsake the families because their loved one, their soldier, gave their life for us. And of course, it would not be appropriate for me in this position if I did not tell you and remind you again that the greatest freedom we have is not the freedom in the United States, although it's great. It's the greatest freedom in the world. But we have a greater freedom that's out of this world. And that freedom is through Jesus Christ. And even though many men gave their lives to keep America free 
and to keep our children free and to keep our nation free. Only one man gave his life to keep us eternally free. And that man is Jesus Christ. So as I honor America today and I honor the military today and I honor those that have served, that, that have survived and those that served and have been sacrificed on the battlefield, more today we honor Jesus. But we thank God that those men and women had a drive in them that only God could give, that they would not quit. So today, my friend, is a day of celebration. It is a day of memory. It is a day to consider. It is a day to stand strong and fast that we go forward in the grace of God. And whatever warfare you're in, whatever challenges that's going on with you, I want to encourage you. The battlefield of life is covered in the Word of God. It's a spiritual warfare. And God can and God will bless you as you face the challenges ahead. So be of good courage. Do not give up. Do not throw in the towel. Do not quit. Your victory is at hand. God bless you. God bless America. And may God bless us all. God bless you. We love you. And goodbye.